was starting to slow down. Actually, the water was coming over my feet right there. Yeah, it's slowing down. But we got a quick inch or more. We got about four tenths earlier, so we're about an inch and a half now. There's the whirlpool. There's the water running all the way up to there. Them crepe myrtles sure needed their a good water. And the, you can see the water running out into on the parkway there. And there's my nice dry double bag sleeping bag, oversized. Whenever this is over, I might get into it. But not before that. Yeah. I don't like it. There, there's that useless tarp. That tarp would have done nothing but trap the water, you know. It would have been impossible. And right now, I kind of got it under control. You know, if that drain wasn't working, that water coming, you can see it's, oh, it shouldn't get out. You can see it's actually been coming over the curb. It actually, you can see it's all the way up to here. It was really coming. It was over the top of my shoes for about mm, 15 minutes. Uh, just giving you a little look around. Yeah, the, between the cold air and shit like that, I did eat like a half dozen eggs earlier this morning. I think it may have even eaten the the last of the tinned beef, but I'm hungry now, and I might end up eating some Franken food tonight. I don't know about the buns, but I might eat some of them 100% beef hot dogs. I don't trust the eggs out of that place. I'd almost just as soon have some freaking meat. And go ahead and either take the opioid painkiller or take some Imodium. It's coming way down, man. It was pouring there for a little while. I mean, it was coming down so hard. It was literally, it was about to come up to the top of my shoes. Yes, well, actually, I can just get that cigarette butt out there, can't I? Can't go in the, into the drain. Yeah, I'm hoping that's it for the night. It's, you can't really see it, but it's still raining a little bit. You can see it hitting out there. You can see it hitting the water here. I can't believe that young man actually got out and ran up to me with something that got soaking wet on the way. It looked like some kind of old hoodie or something like that, some little thin hoodie. It's Yeah, that's going to do me a lot of good. I guess it's too late to go to Walmart. I'm sure the prices on Uber are probably way down. You know, when it was raining real hard, people were just coming up to that intersection and just honking a couple times before they blew through it because they couldn't see what they was doing and they were just honking to let people know they're coming. Whether you like it or not, they didn't stop. That's what I see all day long. Yeah, it's already, you can already see that the water on the pavement out there is already coming down. If I hadn't opened up that drain last year, the things would not, that water would be backed up all six spaces there and this area will be flooded out the water would have to go around that curve is where it's going into that drain right over there where you see that bright shiny spot right in the middle and then it would be absolutely flooded in here for the next 48 hours these six parking places would be absolutely useless as it is the first one is already available yeah, thanks to me draining it and the other five spaces will be available within the hour. Provided it doesn't come down again like it just did. That was a quick inch. Didn't take it more than about 10 minutes. To... Yeah, it was flooding.
it was all the way up to the tree. You can see it's already receding. It was up to my, it was covered the tops of my shoes. And really, that's all. My legs don't even feel cold. That's about all that I've gotten wet. This is dry. And this can go right out here. Then right into the whirlpool. Shoof. I did get up one during the light spark and dig out that a little more because I'm steadily opening up that drain, but the ground's got to be, that ground's rock hard. If it's not wet and stuff and the rain ain't flowing for me to get rid of the dirt down the drain. But I opened it up some more. I'm getting close to getting that thing. You know, until either the Starbucks owner or the 7-Eleven owner make a complaint to the cops, I'm good right here. I keep my stuff to a minimum. This ain't some hobo camp with a bunch of tarps and a tent here. This is me, just an old man sitting there. It's, isn't it cool the way it, that, the light glistens off the tree there? It almost makes it look like it's icy. <laughs> yes, yeah, already. It's already receded over two feet. Some of it's actually backing up. Right there, it's actually backing up towards the whirlpool. Yeah. Without that drain, this whole area would be just wiped out. It really would. It would be completely flooded. And these all these parking spaces would take at least a day and a half to two days. It would be two days before these two spots were... Actually, that'll wash away a lot of the silt that's been accumulating. Yes, young man, this ain't my first rodeo. Boy, that focus ain't too good, is it? No, that's sharp enough. It's my glasses doing it. Should have done taking them off. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It could have been a hell of a lot worse. It could be 30 or 40 degrees cooler, you know? And Well, actually, if it starts drying up, then I can cook some more rice because I really don't want to eat no freaking franken food. And I checked earlier, I was going to, before, because they were really indicating no rain till in the morning. I tried, I went over there and, and I took my, I took my, the one battery that's run down and a charger and I plugged it in and I noticed that they're out of electricity. I, when they loaded the ice today in that ice chest, they shorted it out again. They popped that breaker. That breaker ain't working for nothing. It's that freezer chest out front ain't working. Matter of fact, I saw them taking some inside. So that's the stuff outside is going to be melting. And it'll short too. The rain will short it out and keep it shorted for there's only one dry plug around here, It's and that's over close to where I was going to sleep. <coughs> well, it's calming down a little bit, but as you can see, it's still going to be dribs and drabs for maybe another... Last time I looked at the radar, they were... That was another deal of lightning. It looked like it was going to go to at least, uh, well, based on what I was seeing, they didn't predict this movement. Yeah, we're probably still going to get dribs and drabs for another hour. Probably go to about 11.30 or more before it actually clears. I'll let you go now. Yeah, see, it's already staying over there. That's dripping off the tree. And it's running backwards now into the whirlpool, into the drain. That's See how much I got that drain open? Actually, the drain is now draining this area where it over flooded. It's, I'm glad I discovered that there was a drain there. It just was this little crack in the ground. Funny little crack in the ground. 
Yeah, that's working good. See, it's already draining the parking, you know. They'll all be available by in the morning. And people got to get up early and go vote for Donald J. Trump. Did I say that loudly enough? Let me pull the Donald J. Trump. Yeah, that's where you make your little mark. Donald J. Trump. Don't for, vote for that camel toe person. She's not nice. And she's not very bright either. Well, that, there was a flood warning for Pflugerville on my screen before I started this. And the flooding is pretty much over except for the creek back there. Because that's where that storm drain and all these storm drains lead to around here is to the creek. Scott and White has been watering the creek by a couple thousand gallons a night now for months. I told you about it. And it'll come on in a little while and continue the watering of that creek. They don't care because they're number one in the nation and they raked in hundreds of billions during COVID. And tomorrow, you can already see the little bit of green there. A little bit of rain and moisture that we have had and stuff already is starting to cause either weeds or grass to sprout in this area. I was watching them this morning during the day. We're doing pretty good. Let's check. Yeah, it's just down to light rain now, but about another hour of it. I'll let you go. And I just subscribed uh, about an hour and a half ago, two hours ago, to a man in New Zealand, the Rubicon, crossing the Rubicon. He's like an outcast in New Zealand because he's a supporter of Donald J. Trump. And he points out that New Zealand is one of the most wankerest, uh, wokest nations on this planet. They just absolutely hate Donald Trump because he's really goes against their agenda. I'm glad it's calmed down now. It's from the look of the radar, it could have been three or four inches easily if it I'll let you go now. And I'm sure glad I got that drain right now. Because otherwise, I would be up to my ankles in water. Later. This ain't my first rodeo.